What's up, folks? It's your boy Bob Hollywood with another episode of Bob's Holly World. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Rampage the Movie figure. It is Mega George. Um, it also comes with a smaller three and three quarter inch rock of uh, Okoye, that's his name of the film. Uh, this guy is pretty damn big. He's 16 inches tall. 16 giant 16 inch Massing George posable. It's made by Lenard. This is from Walmart. Uh, this came out, I want to say, 2017. Or maybe 2018. I will tell you for sure once I look at the packaging. But uh, this one bitch is huge, as you can see. 16 inches. It will not fit into my frame. That's why I had the camera the way it was. Let's turn it around. Let's read his bio. Yeah, ground pounding action. It says Mega George, primatologist Davis Okoye. A man who keeps people at a distance shares an unshakable bond with George, the extraordinarily intelligent silverback gorilla with, excuse me, who has been in his care since birth. But a rogue gene experiment gone awry mutates this gentle ape into a raging creature of enormous size. To make matters worse, it's soon discovered that there are other similarly altered animals. As these, anim as these newly created alpha predators tear across North America, destroying everything in their path, Okoye teamed with a discredited genetic engineer to secure an antidote, fighting his way through an ever-changing battlefield, not only to halt a global catastrophe, but to save, <clears throat> save the fearsome creature that was once his friend. Um, I recently saw... Uh, I recently saw... Rampage, this is from 20, 2018. I recently saw Rampage, and I gotta say, I enjoyed the film. It was better than I expected. This is my third Rampage fi uh, figure or toy I've bought. I've bought the uh, Canister Contact Ralph. I didn't get to get the Big City Brawl Ralph, which I really wanted, and I bought uh, this Lizzie. I think this is the big. This is the Big City Brawl Lizzie. I want to say. I bought this at a thrift store, however. So she didn't come with any accessories or her uh, human. But this is the second one I've bought new. Second brand page figure I've bought new. Lenard is one of my favorite brands. And um, I wanted this rock as well. This one's on clearance at Walmart for $5. The last time I saw it at Walmart, it was on clearance for $9. Um, totally justifiable price. The original price, I think, was like 16 bucks, maybe 20 bucks. That's also worth it. It's just that... I was waiting for it to get on clearance. I waited a little too long as I wasn't able to pick up any of the other figures in the line like I thought I would. Again, I really wanted that Ralph. But um, I got what I got now, so I can't complain. Let me go ahead and get this big boy out of this packaging. All right. Sorry about that. I oh, mean, I'm sorry. He was harder to get out of his packaging than I anticipated, so I just cut. And um, here he is. Let's go over Davis Okoye first. Norma camera for Davis Okoye. You were about to not see anything I was going to do. This is Davis Okoye. And again, it's The Rock. He has a pretty good likeness of The Rock. He does look like, what the fuck's going on over there? But he does look like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Um, the articulation of this figure is going to be more in line with their uh, new arrivals. So, he does have a wider range of motion. His arms go up to this perfect crucifix. Well, the slightly below this slightly below perfect crucifix as you saw, and their shoulders are gonna rotate 360 degrees. And his elbows are gonna bend 90 degrees. And they're also gonna rotate like that, 360 degrees. Waist is gonna turn. As you saw earlier, he can come apart pretty easily, which is kind of cool. Um, he still has his screw in the back if you want to detach him, get his head, his arms out of there. And um, his legs go this far apart. They go up that high, both dependently and independently. You might have to work to get him to do it independently. And um, his knees, his knees bend 90 degrees, so he can have a seat. He cannot kneel on his own, but that's cool. And there's no articulation lower than his knees. His hands don't pivot. His hands don't rotate, neither do his feet, his ankles. His head goes that far to left and right. His collar prohibits it from going farther. But um, probably if it was a different body or buck, his head could rotate 360 degrees. So that's Davis Okoye. Painting is not great. 
I mean, it's just these two muted tones or three muted tones. There's no like detailing. I might do something about that. I usually like to have a second one before I do anything to it, but I might do something about that. Stand him back there. Let's pull George up. Move the camera up again. This son bitch is huge, man. Like, it's next to impossible for me to get him all. I can't get him all in my camera. It's not a thing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my camera to him. So look at the detailing. It looks like a giant angry gorilla. When I first saw these toys um, being released, it was right around the time I was getting in, back into toys, like collecting. I had it on a YouTube channel. I wasn't really buying toys like that at the time. And um, I knew Leonard also made the King Kong toys, so I was like, oh, it's just a repainted Kong but it's not like he's shorter than Kong. He has more articulation than Kong. Their sculpt is different. There's really nothing similar that I can tell right now. I am going to compare the two beasts. But um, George's head moves up and down and round and round. That's his range of motion on his head. I'm going to put the camera down for a second. And raise his arms up. It's really hard for me to do his articulation the way I would do a figure. You can do a full crucifixion. I'm, I'm having trouble getting him to stand because of his, his feet. They, they also move. His feet move. And his legs move. He's really posable as well as his name on the packaging suggests. It's not his name, but his packaging suggests. So the arm is also going to rotate at that shoulder, but it's impossible for me to do with just two hands. I'm sorry, but he has great range of motion. The only thing he doesn't have is anything on his abdomen. No ab crunch, no rotation there, but his arm, as you can see, he's got a uh, ball joint or he's got a joint at the uh, shoulder, at the elbow and at the wrist. So he's flexible. I'm gonna put my camera down if I can and see if I can. Uh, yeah. So there's his arm rotating 360 degrees at the elbow, at the shoulder. You got a 90 degree. He's got a pretty massive hand. He can hold Davis in his hand if need be. So that means he can hold other three and three quarter inch figures in his hand. Again, he's super posable. So he can get on all fours. Ugh. He can get on all fours, no problem. His height again is 16 inches. So Google's not gonna come into factor with this review because well, he can't be on, he can't, he's taller than my ruler. Again, you gotta, Fidget with his ankle. Say he's taller than my ruler. He's leaning on the ruler right now because you gotta fidget with his ankles to get him to stand properly. Some bitch is big. Now I said I was gonna compare him to George. I mean, excuse me, Kong. We can do that right now. We get the ruler out of there. And Kong is bigger in every sense of the word. And nothing's the same on these two. Nothing. No molding. No sculpting. Different pieces. Like, they're completely different. You see Kong has double jointed elbows. This guy's got this type of elbow. This peg. They both have wrist articulation and feet articulation, but their hands are different. They didn't even, re they didn't even reuse the hands. They didn't even say, hey, we could just reuse the hands for this guy. Nope. Completely different hands so most most lines would have just said hey let's just repaint Kong they didn't do that they did not do that in this film I mean in this uh, line I appreciate it their feet are different they're completely different um, where George outshines Kong is articulation Kong's arms move Kong's feet moves Kong's head moves his head doesn't move nearly as well as George. But uh, <clears throat> George also has these leg articulation that allows him to walk on all fours. And um, 
that means a lot. That means something. So, yeah, that's where George gets the the, the win. Whereas Kong, obviously, is bigger. He's the king. He's the king of Kongs. Now, as for how big George gets in the film, I cannot recall if this is accurate. I don't recall if he gets bigger or small, or if he's smaller than this. I just know it was an awesome showdown between Kong and this motherfucking lizard. This is Crocodile, who is one of my favorite toys. The only other thing I could compare these two are would be uh, my, my Gloria, my Super Colossal T-Rex. And I won't do that because it's no comparison. She's bigger than both of these guys, man. But, yep. There is George and Kong and Lizzie. Again, I wish I had the bigger Ralph, but it is what it is. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Let everybody know where they can find me, B.O.B., and that's right here at Bob's Holly World. I will catch you next time. Thanks.